people. All right. So here's the thing. I understand what you're saying about probation, not doing their job, but honestly, you were not doing your job as a parent because that's why probation is in their life. And the government, honestly, even when people are juveniles, it's really not the probation's officer job to raise your children. That's your job. Uh, could I have a file stamp for uh, probation, please? Right here. Thank you. <laughs> All right, court is calling 2023 CR8835, State of Texas versus Esther Diaz. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Defense? Joseph Appelt. And are you Esther Diaz? Yes, Your Honor. All right, did you review the documents entitled Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilt and Revoke Community Supervision? And First Amendment Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilt and Revoke Community Supervision with your attorney, did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. Are you the same Esther Diaz who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2023 CR 8835 for the offense of harassment of a public servant on February 15, 2024 for a period of three years? Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right. Stayed? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, which uh, allegation are you proceeding on? Violation condition on, on or about the 28th day of February 2024. In Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Mr. Marie Oriana Diaz, completed the office of tampering with electronic monitoring device. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. All right. Uh, are you proceeding on any other allegations? We haven't been the allegation. All right. Any objection? No objection, Your Honor. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number one, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, and sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to $10,000 fine? Yes, Your Honor. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number one? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find violation of condition number one true. Is there a proposed agreement? There's an agreement in the sense that we both believe that Ms. Oriana Diaz should have some sort of treatment. We disagree about what that treatment is. Yes, Your Honor. In other words, the agreement would be to. Uh, continue her on her deferred alternate amend conditions for some form of substance abuse treatment. Um, but as Mr. Edelman has indicated, we don't agree on what type of treatment that should be and exactly where. We would leave that to the court, and I would like to uh, address the court with respect to that, Your Honor. All right, so let's address the tampering with the electronic monitoring device, and then we can address if the court is going to continue Ms. Diaz or not. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, at the time that that occurred, at the time that Ms. Diaz had the device on, she was in a, um, shall I say, a very negative relationship with a gentleman who is the father of her now two-month-old baby. CPS sub subsequently had gotten involved dealing with that situation, as well as her other five children. One of her children had been involved in drugs, and it has to do with, uh, I'll give you his name, it's Domingo Herrera who was a negative influence on the other children, as well as Ms. Diaz. She has since gotten away from him. She cut the monitor off because she was dealing with the rather exigent circumstances with her oldest child, who is 16 years old. That child is now in the juvenile system because of some of her drug issues and other issues that were going on. That situation is being resolved. There is a CPS case, which is open with Ms. Diaz, which she was following and being involved in with their services prior to uh, coming to court, being in custody now for this vi the violation that she's played true to. Some of the services they were recommending had to deal with uh, relationship counseling, dealing with anger management counseling, as well as substance abuse counseling. With respect to that, her um, she does have six children. Um, the 16-year-old, actually, she's not the oldest. The 17-year-old um, is with her mother, which is the child's grandmother. The 16-year-old is in the juvenile system, being taken care of that way. Three of the children are with her ex-husband. And then the young two-month-old child is in foster care right now. Her hope is to try to reunite with the two-month-old and the other children. It's my understanding, as reported by Ms. Diaz, that CPS, that case is rolling forward. And there's uh, some sort of a, a proceeding in October of this year that she's trying to meet all the requirements for their purposes. 
um, while she has been in custody, which is 110 days, Your Honor, she has completed an anger management class. She has two more classes to go to complete her healthy relationships class. And she's been in substance abuse counseling as well. Two more classes and she'll get a certificate of completion for that class too. She informs me that Mr. Herrera, she doesn't know where he is, no contact with him, doesn't want anything to do with him. It's her information through CPS that he initially began, but he has not cooperated with CPS. He hasn't done anything. And so their process, quite possibly, I haven't seen the pleadings, but knowing how they work, they may be trying to terminate his parental rights as a part of the CPS program. We're not quite sure. However, from her perspective, she doesn't want anything to do with the man at all because of the problems that he has caused her and her children. All right. State, um, you're requesting what type of treatment? Safety, Your Honor. All right. So I have a few questions. Uh, you want to raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, God? Yes, John. All right. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Esther Marie Oriana Diaz. All right. And defensive, ever you want to jump in, feel free to jump in. All right. So what are the ages of your children? 17, 16, 14, 12, 5. And two months. All right. So the two month old is in foster care. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. And the twelve, I'm sorry, the five year old is with your ex. Yes. And that is not Mr. Herrera. No. And the twelve year old is my ex husband. Fourteen as well. As well. And the sixteen year old. She's in juvie. And the seventeen year old with the grandmother. Yes. All right. So the 16 year old, why is the 16 year old in juvenile custody? Um, she kept running. Uh, my mom was having problems with her. So, okay, so she was with your grandmother. Yes. All right. Oh, I don't want to go into great detail. I'm just trying to figure things out. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So now here's my question in defense. If you want to jump in, feel free to jump in. I don't understand how cutting off the monitor has anything to do with anything. I mean, it's not as though Mr. Herrera was monitoring her. It's not like if she's on GPS, he's monitoring her so he knows where she is. It's probation that was monitoring her. It yes. had to do with. I'm sorry, go ahead. It had to do with the fact that she was previously ordered to complete alpha home and she couldn't do that with the monitor on. And that delves into and it is intertwined with Mr. Herrera and the relationship that she had with him. And so she did not complete Alpha Home. She in essence left Alpha Home after one week. Okay. So she was in Alpha Home on GPS. Yes, Your Honor. And she cut the GPS monitor off. That's yes, Your Honor. Yes. Um, sorry. Sorry to cut. Um it wasn't necessarily that way. It, he misunderstood what I meant was my daughter was giving my mom problems. It wasn't necessary because my ex-boyfriend. It was because my daughter, nobody can handle them. And they only listen when I'm there. And so I had to cut my monitor to go get my daughter. No, you didn't have to cut your monitor I, off. You could have called probation and said. I called them. My mom called them. They didn't want to do nothing. They didn't, my son's probation officer is the same probation officer for my daughter. They didn't even go look for her. Little did they know my son was even doing the other things. I had to be the one keep calling and calling, and they weren't doing their job. Secondly, my daughter was going to the Westway Apartments where there's a bridge, where there's a lot of homeless people. All right, so here's the thing. I understand what you're saying about probation not doing their job, but honestly, you were not doing your job as a parent because that's why probation is in their life. And the government, honestly, even when people are juveniles, it's really not the probation's officer job to raise your children. That's your job. And the fact that your child ran away still doesn't excuse your thinking, which is I'm going to cut off my monitor because my child ran away and uh, my child will only listen to me. If your child will only listen to you, why, why, is your, why are your children living with the grandmother instead of you? Exactly. I was just trying to take my daughter back to my mom's and let her, you know, turn herself in, do it the right way. So I can turn myself in so I can be at peace and know that she's okay while I'm doing my, you know, 
mm-hmm. doing what I have to do as a parent. Well, let me just tell everybody one, I don't even think she should be continued on probation. I think she should be revoked. But what I can tell you is I am not going to do the treatment that you want. It's going to be safe. P. Okay. Sorry. So well, no, you need to listen. Yes. So even if I consider continuing you, it's going to be safe. P. So everything else is off the table. Uh, any questions? Not Any questions? Not from the defense, Your Honor. All right, probation, what are you requesting? Judge, felony drug court, um, she was initially accepted into felony drug court, and then the monitor issue happened. So then they rejected the case and came back over. We did we refer her to felony drug court, and at that point, the ABA down there opposed So probation wants to continue her? Yes. Okay. All right. This is what the court is going to do. I'll deny the motion. Alternate main conditions. To extend for two years. We can do a referral back to felony drug court. uh, And if not accepted. Then safe P. Judge, I would like to point out that referral was just in back to it as a whole. All right. If I said the DA, the ADA opposed it, and that's why she wasn't granted or she wasn't accepted to drug court. Otherwise, she met the requirements for it. Who's the ADA? It doesn't even give you that information. Um, judge, it does say that she met the criteria. That's all I have. And I have counseled Ms. Diaz on how stringent and how difficult drug court is to complete. And she has informed me that she is ready, willing, and able to do whatever she needs to do. All right, just one moment. All right. So here's my other question. Has anyone looked into the, if she has a CPS case, CPS has a treatment court there as well. Has anyone checked to see if they will accept her? I have not, Your Honor. All right. Yes. I have a, a outpatient visit with a CPS worker on a third and she was a Asking, well, telling me that if you, if they didn't have classes for me here, that they would provide the classes for me there. All right. So uh, what's going to end? I can tell everybody what's going to end up happening. Right. And you all tell me if you all want to continue down this road of sending her to safety. On In CPS cases, you only have a year. Council, as you know to get your act together for them to consider placing your children with you. Sometimes they will extend it, maybe extend it for three months. Most I've seen is six months and that's it. So if you're not accepted into felony drug court, it's going to be very difficult for you. Um, 
when you're sent to safety. So I'm going to ask that she be re-referred to felony drug court. And maybe your attorney can speak to them at felony drug court and talk to the ADA and see if they're willing to reconsider. But if you're not accepted in felony drug court, you're going to go to safety. Yes, John. So there's a referral to felony drug court in custody. If not accepted, uh, then uh, safe P. Is there anything else from either side? No, the problem the defense, Okay, and just one moment. Yeah, okay. All right, good luck to you. Thank oh, you. and I'm sorry, one more thing on the record probation. She'll receive credit for the anger management course. I receive, I'm sorry. I received my other two certificates in two weeks. All right, sure. It just be in the system, they said. All right, just let uh, probation know. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.